I am Nutrix the Synth Guy, and today we're talking about sync, on how to sync two devices, or what is sync, and how to approach it. Now, I could actually write a whole course just on sync, because it can be very complex, and there's many different types of sync, and why would you use one instead of the other, and you can actually use more than one type of sync at the same time. The logic is that there's been different type of technology and techniques to sync two devices together since the need was there. If we go back in time and we look at when the synthesizer started to be part of the um, reality of music, well, each company had their own version of sync. Uh, Oberheim had uh, their own technology, Korg, uh, Yamaha, Roland, uh, Moog, everybody had their own way of syncing. And there was, at the early time, sync was basically uh, an analog electrical message. You know, it was just electrical information to say, play. You need to understand that there is a comeback to these old type of analog sync. And to be honest, there's a reason we stopped using them at one point. There's a reason why we're coming back to them. But the reason we stopped going using them at one point is because MIDI came and MIDI was a unified way to do it. One of the biggest problem of the early days of analog for syncing is that all these companies had different type of sync that would not be compatible. So you could not sync easily. I mean, there's always ways to do bizarre modification and, and all that stuff, but there was not an easy way to sync two type of companies that did not talk to each other because they were not even having the same type of connector. Sometimes it was the same connector, but it was a different type of message on the same cable and it didn't work the way you thought it should. So that being said, when MIDI came out and it was basically the one uh, common message so that everybody could talk and sync. So MIDI sync on a MIDI cable is Probably today, musically speaking, one of the most simple and efficient way to sync two devices. So if you have this on your two devices, this will send a lot of messages. Now, let's talk about the messages. MIDI sync is a suite of MIDI, many different messages at the same time. You got to understand that when you're syncing, when you want two devices to sync, you basically need at least three messages. The first thing is you want from one device to the other a message that says what is the speed at which we're running. That's the speed sync if you want, running time sync. Okay. In film you would have SMPTE that would actually uh, sync to uh, frame of the film. In music it's tempo based, so it's linked to the tempo of your song. In film you don't want to change tempo. Time is always the same, you know, the same value, so it's synced to frames of the screen, which you see on the screen. Whereas in music, you could change the speed, okay? So tempo-based would need to have a message that can actually change in real time, and you need the other device to say, oh, the tempo changed, and it's gonna follow that. It's gonna be the logic of a master clock, one that is telling the speed, and a slave, or many slave devices that follow the clock of the master. Okay, so you'll see often the word master and slave in sync, either master or internal. Internal means that this one follows its own speed and it's master. And if you're in external mode or in slave mode, you're actually following what's coming in. So it will be slave to the external information coming in. Okay, so that would be the concept that you would see often in the submenus and stuff like that. Now, we need to understand that what type of message goes on a cable will be totally different and might not have all the information we want. Let's go back. If we look at an analog sync, like you would have on a Volca, or you would have on a Boutique, you have these external clock in, this one you have sync in and out. These are electricity only not digital information. So the only information you have here is the tempo information. And it only says, depending on the way the tempo has been divided in time, 
that's basically what you have a metronome it's a metronome for two devices to play together like musician would have a metronome to practice music same logic the only problem is that each companies Korg and Roland do not have and other companies also they do not have the same vision on how much click messages or yeah sync messages should be sent by quarter notes and that's where you have a problem because when you sync the Volca to a boutique they don't sing with the same speed they don't have the same tempo one of the two has double the amount of division and time for one beat so when you play them one will play faster than it should keep in mind that on that cable for the clock sync analog clock sync the only information is the metronome nothing else so you don't have stop start rewind location you know where you want to go in the song go to third bar whatever it is you have none of that this is really just metronome playing as long as the first one is sending it and some devices send the metronome all the time even when they're stopped others only when you you start those who only send it when you play means that when you start it can also be seen as a start time but there's no message to so to, to, to tell where to start from so it's gonna the other device will start from where it was you know so you need to stop the other device go back to the beginning and then start the first one so it goes back playing from the start that where it becomes a little bit tricky all of this to talk about one question I got this week was how do you sync a Volca to a boutique using the Volca as the start as the beginner as the uh, trigger machine well you can't you just cannot because when you're using the sync out and you press play it doesn't send sync information it doesn't say start it only sends the clock so if the other one is in slave mode and waiting for a clock it might start but there's no information of saying where to start from and the problem you will have is that Korg and Roland do not divide their beats with the same value so there are going to be a problem of speed and let's actually show you I'm going to take sync out I'm going to turn it on sync out into clock and if I play just my okay and this little thing coming actually let's wait a sec Take a stereo cable mix in this I'm 
okay you have, the, you have the speed if i click the external end right away the speed change and is following I'm going to play. this one is always sending electric sync out if i press play it's tempo related if i change the tempo here stop there's no stop signal because in sync there is no stop and sync there is no start and sync there's only the metronome information okay so that's the, that's the, oh, i'm gonna stop this so that's the biggest problem is that now if you want to start that and and trigger the playback of the two devices you need a trigger message it could be something else it could be analog also but in this case the volca does not have this you can do the other way. You can say, okay, well, I'm going to use the output gate out of this. And I'm going to send it to sync in. And I press play. I want to press play here. And sync. But again, timing is not the right thing. So now this one plays twice as fast. Because the beat division are not the same. But this one actually stop and starts. Because the boutique, when you stop, the sequencer in this case it also stops the the sending of the metronome so the other one is waiting because there's a clock in and because they're clocked in it goes into slave mode and it's waiting until it receives the next step to play so then my answer would say if you wanted to to be triggered at the right speed you would have to use stop this you would have to use your good old classic MIDI cable. Sync is a combination of three messages. There's a MIDI clock that just says time, metronome, same thing. There's a suite of three messages, a start, stop, continue. Start means it starts from the beginning. The start, stop is stop playing and continue is continue from where you were located. So these are the three messages and the last one that is really important is song position pointer. That one would tell the second device where to go to continue from. So you could say, I'm going to go, if you have two sequencers sync and you say, I'm positioning my pointer to measure number five, it's going to send song position pointer to the other device and say, go to measure five. And then when you press continue, when you press play, it sends a continue and the two start. And then it sends a MIDI clock to say, that's the speed. So it's a combination of all of this that you have on these to work. Now I said, perfect, I'm gonna use the output. Well, look at this. There is no MIDI out. There's only MIDI in. It basically means that the Volca cannot send MIDI sync. It can only be slave to MIDI. So if you wanna use the, the Volca as a master, it would need a MIDI out. I don't know if there's one of them that has MIDI out. <clears throat> I only have the beat. But if there's only MIDI in, then it can only be slave. In this case, it can only be slave. So the only way to slave a Roland Boutique to a Korg Volca so it works correctly would be using MIDI. But then it would mean that you would have a MIDI out of the Boutique plugged into the MIDI in of your Korg Volca. Just going to do it the right way. Patch back the sound. And if I press play now, the right speed. If I change the tempo, well in time it's perfect now. And then we stop, stop, it stops. And that's basically the boutique sends the right information to the corridor. And keep in mind that these two can be used at the same time, these can be used separately. You could actually have in the case of the roll in here, you can have the MIDI out triggering this one and you can still use the gate and the CV to control something else. So these are more, you should look at these in this case more as a modular kit where some of the speed and information from the boutique can be sent to an external device. So let's say an LFO or something else in that other device will play to the same 
a musical relation, a time relation that you have here, okay? So it all depends on what you want to do and where you want to use it. But as we saw with this one and that one, there are uh, ways that they just at one point cannot sync because they don't have the option. Now, if this is useful, I hope this is useful because I know I see a lot of questions about how to sync two devices musically based. That's it, guys. I hope this is useful. As always, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe, uh, click on the notification bell so you get the information and share it with your friends. Cheers.